Ha, huh, just kidding. I need to show you how to get the Padan first. Ha <laughs> whoops. Ah, uh, anywho, I do need to correct one thing I said in the previous little bit. Uh, you can use save states to abuse what's in random drops from chest, i.e. if I really wanted to get that Carmilla Claw without gaining too many levels, I could have save stated as soon as the Carmilla dropped the chest, open the chest, uh, if it was what I wanted, uh, good, if not, reload the state and open the chest again. Because the chest generates its item as soon as you as soon as you click to open it, not uh, before, not a second before. So yeah, you can abuse save states to do that. But seeds, their random number generator is very fickle. And if I did not discover this on my own, I saw H or H C Bailey. He did in his LP, and that's how I learned about it. Anyway, we come into the end here, and we leave, I believe. Or do we have to stay at the end? Oh, we actually have to sleep at the end. Okay. Yeah. Now, if you came here before you defeated the seven god beasts, you would find a man here who said, Oh, Padan's been gone for years. Uh, there's nothing you can do about it. Oh, now that we've defeated the seven god beasts, come into the end, sleep. Go. Press the button to continue. Luna's Day! Yay! Nah, well, yeah, I have a slight, or, or, yeah, I have, I have Gleipnir on me now, so I want to save. There we go. Alright. Gleipnir is safe and secure in my inventory. Awesome. And now, holy crap, there's actually a city here! Wow. Over here is an armor uh, uh, weapons merchant. He sells some of the most powerful equipment in the game. Brunak and a pain tooth. I, I want the pain tooth, even though it's absurdly expensive. But because I'm only buying equipment for one person, I can afford it. <laughs> now, if you were... Uh, whoops, I didn't mean to go down that far. Now, if you're playing with, uh, or if you're focusing on developing all three of your characters, you might want to budget dip your expenses differently, i.e., you know, maybe just focus your attention on buying chess pieces and whatnot. But since I have unlimited, well, I don't have unlimited money, but I only have a third of the expenses, I am perfectly fine. I see, look at that, I've spent over half my money just getting that equipment. Come on, nope, I didn't mean to do that. Go up, go up, go up. There we go. Medeal Spears get replaced. I want a Aurora Helmet, and I want Fang Armor. Sadly, I don't get any upgrades in my earrings. Not for a while. Uh, maybe with the Weapon Armor Seed. Uh, yeah, the Weapon Armor Seed, it can produce uh, one... It can produce either the Ultimate Weapon or the Ultimate Armor for each slot of individual classes. Although in the case of Angela and Carly, since they're still their first basic job class, it's the only thing they can get are earrings, I believe. So, nothing spectacular. <coughs> spectacular. Wait, why am I out here? I'm not supposed to be out here yet. If you wanted more weapon armor seeds, you can grind off of, uh, well, you can grind off the creatures in here. I believe most of them have a chance to drop it. Although I think Papa Potos are still your best bet. Anywho, I wasn't supposed to go there. I was supposed to. Go here. <clears throat> Pardon me. I've been studying the history of the Mana Stones. Long ago, there were eight Mana Stones, but today we only know the locations of seven of them. The missing one is the Mana Stone of Darkness. I've examined the ancient scripts, and I believe I have located the Mana Stone of Darkness. It is to the north of Orlante in the Cave of Darkness. Now, depending upon whose path you're following, i.e. if we were Miss Carly there, that Mana Stone would actually be located somewhere in the Mirage Palace, and if we were Miss Angela, it'd be located in the Dragon's Hole. But since we are not on those playthroughs, I can't go there, or I can go there, but it won't do any good. Uh, you can't access the buildings. In fact, you can't even get to them. If I went to the glass desert, I'd just have a single screen with just dead ends, and 
Jungle of Illusion, well, I can't explore any more of it than I already have because, well, it, the Mirage Palace would be to the west. Yeah, west, but nope, no go. So instead, we are forced to go to the Cave of Darkness. Now, this place is dangerous, viewers. Why is it dangerous? One reason and one reason only. Ninjas. Well, it has werewolves too, but I'm mainly afraid of ninjas. I've walked into a room and to have a ninja just yell, come out, yell surprise, do a level 3 tech, and make me reset my game. Uh, it's quite annoying, and I need to... Hey, while I'm here, I might need to, you know, put some chocolates in my <laughs> inventory. Ah, uh, that'd be smart. And let's get Glycaner out of there so I don't accidentally use it. You can use it in battle to cast mine down on all enemies, but I, I want to use it for its purpose of giving me a job class. A better job class. Round drops. Pakun chocolates. Honey drink. I'll sort all this out later. It's bugging me. There we go. Or sort out the my personal inventory. I can't sort the one on the right. That one auto sorts. But anywho, welcome to the Cave of Darkness, viewers. This place is dangerous. Night Blades. They have a level 3 tech, hits all enemies, deals massive amounts of damage. It's not nice. We'll just put it that way. Now, the reason why I'm going for the uh, Fenrir Knight as opposed to the uh, other Knight, that, or the other class, I believe it's the Dragoon. Ah, Split Image Slice. This is the skill I was afraid of. Holy crap, did you see that damage, viewers? He did 409 damage to me. Yes, this is why I hate Night Blades. They will wreck your face. They are dangerous. And guess what, viewers? This is an area I'm going to be grinding in. <laughs> if you can, kill the Night Blades last. Very good reason for that. They drop Weapon Armor Seeds! Oh yeah, I'm going to be stocking up on those. Yeah, I, I, you really mainly only need your chest piece and weapon from them, but I'm a completionist, and so I want to get everything I can from the weapon armor seeds. But uh, more on that later. How much XP do I need to level? Alright. Oh, uh, 11,000. Not terrible. Anywho, I'll just show you the way to go. Oh, wolf devils. Uh, these are uh, more werewolves. Werewolves and ninjas. They have dangerous level 3 techs, and I choose to grind in this area because of weapon armor seeds. They are light. What level am I going to have to grind to? <laughs> oh, I believe the level is 45? Why do I have to grind that high? Because if I don't, Zabblefar can just go up to me and say, Hey, you're going to die now. And I have to obey. There's no getting around it. It's quite annoying. Ah, uh, jerk. Die already! I said yes, thank you. Man, at least enemies here are worth a decent amount of XP. Otherwise, it'd make grinding here a nightmare. Oh, it'll still take a while, don't get me wrong, viewers, but uh, not as long as it could. Again, kill Night Blades last if possible. I know they're, they're the most dangerous enemy to leave alive for too long. <laughs> Do not let your HP fall below 410, Sven. Keep it above 400. Like, high above, well above 400. Actually, you know what? Well, let's use it. Mm. Yeah, I'll, I'll go into why I selected the Fenrir later. When I have, you know, less things trying to kill me. Nightblade. Power down. Now let's see if I can't heal real quick before he decides to counterattack with a split image slice because that's what he does. He counterattacks spells in level 2 and 3 techs. Which is why I'm using a Flying Heaven Spear because I just have a death wish. I really should be using my level 1 tech and only my level 1 tech against these guys whenever I see a Nightblade present. Alright, hopefully I killed the ninja last. Chest? No chest for me. Oh well. It's not a common drop, but it's the only thing the the night blades will drop. So if you see a night blade drop a chest, you have yourself a weapon armor seat. Uh, more of these guys. All right, do a power down on the night blade. 
That's probably the only thing that's going to stop me from dying. Is the power downs. Oh, great. I, I, I built up the level 2 without meaning to. That's swell. Thunderstorm! Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Don't let this in conjunction with the Splinter Slice be my doom. Okay, it isn't. Do not be afraid to use your chocolate viewers. This area will kill you if given the chance. Ah, I didn't kill the ninja last. Lame. I guess I'm putting a point in constitution for you. You're finally getting defense, Angela. Haha. <laughs> ah, mysterious need. Nah, yeah. That's why I like killing ninjas last. You know. I just walked on screen, dude. I just walked onto the screen. And you're already pulling that nonsense on me. See, this is why I hate night blades. They can just be like, oh, hey, I'm going to use split image slice on you. I hope you have full health or you're going to die. Uh, power down. That will help out immensely. Now, the reason why I like the Fenrir Knight, uh, well, I'll go ahead and discuss it now. Uh, it has multi-targeting stat downs, which is not the main reason why I picked it, but it, it definitely in, it, it influenced my choice a little bit. Uh, it's... It's tech looks cooler. It has a cooler looking attack, uh, level 3 tech, in my opinion. And uh, the big reason, the reason why I chose it over the other dark final job class is because it just has better strength and better intelligence. Which is, yeah, it helps me. It's only one point in each, but it helps me survive. And that's all that matters. Alright, go up here. And you know, just trying. I want to show you at least where the God Beast of Darkness resides before I uh, before I cut off here. Yeah, if you go to the upper left, right here, that will take you to the next spot to the God Beast of Darkness, which I don't want to fight yet because I need to be level forty-five before I'm willing to fight Zebelfar. Ah, dang it! I killed the ninja again. Ugh. This is gonna be a long grinding session. Ooh, heck yeah! Okay, well, I guess I'll do that now then. Doesn't really matter what I pick. All right, if you go to the, if you go to the left here, it takes you to the God Beast of Darkness. Okay, I'll I'll take that ring of bouquets. <gasps> oh wait, no, that's not the right seat. Dang it! I didn't want a question mark seed. Alright, do I have any... Oh yeah, I have an escape rope in my uh, inventory here. Oh, while we're here, I might as well uh, show you how to do the job class then, because I just hit level 38. Our next stop will be... Where's my escape... Wait, did I... why do I not have escape rope? Uh... Alright. Well, I'll meet you at the uh, Isle of Oblivion, or the Mana Holy Land. After I make my way out of- well, after I show you how to get out of here using the shortcuts. So I guess I'll just fly there. Alright, we'll just skip you, skip you. This is gonna be a long episode. I need to remember that I have five minutes from the previous session. Uh, what music to use, though? Because I, I was right, it, it does create a silent, uh, thing. Alright, thank goodness Nightblades didn't decide to kill me. Yeah. I'll be following that loop to grind, and it's a one-way loop. Well, the once you head the from Zabalfar head south and uh, are down to the right, that's a one-way path. All right, well, I'm glad to be out of there. Isle of Oblivion. Oh, dang it! I didn't mean to land there. I was supposed to land over the the thing. Flammy, I need you. Over the rainbow portal. Get to the Holy Land. Press A. Press A again. Fly. And land. Just somewhere around here. There we go. Unfortunately, there's no way to land in front of the goddess statue, so I have to go this way. And... Huh. Was the man of Holy Land this brown last time I was here? 
I swore it was greener. Nah, whatever. I'm sure it has no effect on the plot whatsoever. I'm just being paranoid. That's it. I'm just being paranoid. Well, the goddess did say she was dying, didn't she? Nah, whatever. Yeah, that blocks the path right there. Super annoying. They can go long roundabout ways. All right. It's not in my inventory. That's what I thought. Okay. Or get this to work, you need to be level 38, and you need to have the uh, class change item in your inventory, so... Weapon Armor Seed. You're being replaced with Gleipnir. Or Gleipnir. And... Let's do it! Try the class change now! Close your eyes and concentrate. Concentrate harder! Alright, for this class change, we'll need a special item to break the seal. Do you have it? Yes, I do. Item. Gleipnir! I am Lys, the Fenrir Knight! Haha! <laughs> yes! Oh, fantastic. Alright, that makes me happy. Now have a level 3 tech. Takes forever to charge up, but oh, is it brutal. And it's a single target tech, too, which is kind of not cool, but eh, still. Whatever. So, yeah. Also show off the... People wondering where my uh, little profile pic came from? Yeah, it's uh, Lisa's Fenrir Knight form. <laughs> That's how I knew I had it planned out. But, uh, anywho, yeah. I'm going to... Uh, grind off screen till I'm level 45. Uh, I'll probably use those weapon and armor seeds to get the items I get the full set of ultimate armor or as much as I can by that point. And yeah, next time we meet I'll be level 45 and we'll be ready to fight Zabel Far next time on Let's Play Seiken Densetsu 3. Thank you very much for watching everyone and I shall see you all tomorrow. Laters!